you talked about kind of being a change guy because you had different priorities in your life and different things. And I'm not saying that's not true. It, it very much seems like it's true. But there was one time where the old Shawn Michaels seemed to come out a little bit, and that was in the program with Hulk Hogan. Um, you guys had a tag team for a couple of months, posing all over the shop, beating tag teams, and then you turn on him, and then it felt like for a little while we got some of that 1997 1998 Shawn Michaels, which people were clamoring for. The, the Larry King like sketch we had, the, the walker. Um, and it's the one thing that I've ever seen when you talk about it. The, not that you get angry about it, but there's a frustration there about that program. As, as how it turned out. Not that you're angry, but you just there's a frustration there. Why did that not turn out the way that you wanted it to or the way you thought it should? And why is that the one time that you did decide to give a little bit of the old Shawn Michaels? Well, one, because one, that's specifically what they asked for was 97 Sean. And so, and the thing is, and so the only part that was ever frustrating was, you know, me having to do a lot of it on my own and, and sort of it constantly changing, um, you know, week to week and of what we, you know, originally had thought it would be. Um, but then other than that, I mean, that's, that's what everybody wanted. And look, I will say this and it, you know, it doesn't matter what I say, but you have to understand the wrestling business is always going to make, that's what we do, make things 10 times bigger. And the great thing about it is when we make it 10 times bigger, you guys make it 20 to 30 times bigger in your own minds, in your own world. And so the thing is, I'm no dummy. I know the past that I created. All I have to do is give you a hint of that, and you think I'm back. You think I'm wrong. He's doing it again. And I don't mean it to be, and I don't mean it to be mean or cruel. It's just, you know, the human wrestling fan is an easy thing to manipulate. <laughs> God bless you. You know what I mean? But it was, I mean, it's not like, well, I'm just saying, it's not like I could have done that whole Larry King live thing and like nobody in the WWE have okayed that. You know what I mean? Or, you know, or, the, or even the promo that I did after it. You know what I mean? It's not like, again, because again, cause this is no longer 97. This is no longer, again, a world where it was just owned by one guy and we only had to run it by him. Now it is publicly traded. Now, we, you know, now things do have to get approved. Now this, so there wasn't, that's one of those things. That that's a world, again, that um, all I know is that I learned that that's a world that almost takes care of itself. And I don't mean it to be disrespectful, but that's the easiest world to work because you guys are constantly caught up in what you believe to be the real behind the scenes. And all you have to do is mess with the real behind the scenes a little bit, feed that to you guys, and you're off and running with it. Piece of cake. You know what I mean? Well, I'm just saying, we, 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 as the click, we did that all the time. That was one of the things we figured out early on is that, holy cow, you know, and, and the locker room, you know, half of them buy half of that stuff. So the only, look, for what it's worth, the only people who are easier to work than you guys are the guys we're in the dressing room with. It's funny you say that because we, we, did, a show, we, we did a show in Glasgow once with Scott Hall and we were talking to him about when they came back in 2002, the NWO thing, and, I, and I, I'd asked him, I said, you know, was it difficult to go in that environment where people are kind of like, he was WCW, he, whatever, whatever. And he talked about an interaction where the Dudley boys came up to him and said, hey, how's it going? And he was like, yeah, cool. Oh, your finish is the 3D? And they were like, yeah. And he was like, can't wait to kick out of it. <laughs> and they got really annoyed. And he was like, don't worry. I'm only serious. Yeah. Like, and I guess that's kind of to your point. Is, is he's, uh, but you, you've talked before about in the Hogan thing that it was originally going to be a few matches. You know, maybe he would win one, you would win one. You'd have a, a, a rubber match. So looking back now on it, it, with what it was, are you glad you did it? Is it, is it something that you, you enjoyed doing when you look back? Yeah, well, look, I mean, I'll put it, one, it's, was one of those things that, for me, I don't care who you are, if you're in this line of work and even remotely in the same era as him, you, you want to say you were out there with the biggest, I mean, he's, say what you want, but he's the biggest name with this business. You, you know what I mean? We'll probably ever see or ever know. I mean, and so, look, it's one of those things that you just sort of go, again, I mean, uh, same thing with Rick. I mean, it's one of those things that you, as a guy... Well, I'm just saying, it's one of those things that, look, if you've got, you know, if you've got this, you know, your own little checklist in your mind, you know, to be able to say that. Because, again, you know, I was a fan once, too. And so, and all of a sudden, then one day you're in the locker room with these guys. And it's like, oh, my goodness. Uh, 
you know, and then you get time goes on, then you're their peers and your friends or whatever, and then all of a sudden your business, whatever the case may be. But then, but there's still a part of you is like, I would love to, you know, that's one of the things I'd never done is been out there with Hulk Hogan, and he was back and similar. Like, Look, this is an opportunity for this to be able to happen. Anybody think anything's there? We, we, you know, we got anything, and so yeah, and everybody seemed to you know think it was something that was viable. So I was yeah, I was definitely into it. You know, look, I I, I will say that again. I, I it was I originally wanted to be you know just good guy versus good guy, and I you know it was one of those things where you know, you know HBK just needed to know, and, um, and and those things got changed. And I and again, I well, look, I also, I you know I knew that it's hard to so okay. So now I got to be a heel. And what look one of the things also, like if you're Shawn Michaels. It's like, I think, again, not the, the Jesus thing, but it's like even going to church, like I somehow can't be a bad guy on TV. So so if you got a part time with the church people, so do I half the time. Because it's like, so I can't pretend to be something on TV and still go to church on Sunday because that somehow makes me, I'm acting. You know what I mean? And so, like, look, I got no idea what's going to happen when that Marine 6 movie comes out because I say bad words in it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Am I going to get in trouble at church when I do that? I don't understand that. I'm playing a part. You know what I mean? And so, uh, and again, again, for what it's worth, I mean, like, you know, I, I'm, you know, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, if it's who he says he is, he already knows what's already in there. You know what I mean? So, and it's either okay or it isn't. And so, um, but so it was that kind of stuff that even, and even as a wrestling fan, I can't be a bad guy anymore without everybody thinking there's a part of me that's really bad. And then sometimes you go like, ugh. You know, how, how many times do we have to go through this? So that's, you know, to, you know, to your point, that's the only part that gets a little, I guess, like frustrating about it is where pro wrestling is only pro wrestling when you want it to be. And that's, I guess, that's the thing that's always been, that's what frustrated the click all those times, you know, all those times way back when is that, like, it's, so it's all built on BS, but if we throw the BS out now, you don't like it. You know what I mean? It's, you know, so it's, it was, it was only that kind of stuff, um, that made it even uh, remotely tough. But I was very, you know, again, thrilled uh, to do it. And even, like, the match itself, even that's gotten blown out of proportion. All that really did was reveal to me that I, I, I made the right choice in not trying to be a heel again because, you know, that is the way I sold when I was a heel. And now it's, now you fast forward to 2005 and that's known as overselling. I wouldn't be good at it. I mean, that's the thing, because I was, there was only, uh, as I told people, there was only one thing I was trying to do, you know, in that match, and it was a joke, it was a private joke between Kevin Nash and I. Everything else has turned out to have a life of its own, which just, honestly, you know, just shows that I'm no longer a good heel anymore, because that is, I mean, that's how I used to bump for everybody in 95, and nobody minded it. You know what I mean? Well, I'm just saying, it's one of those things, I mean, Ziggler does it now, and nobody calls it overselling. You know, well, I'm just saying, I, so I guess that's one of the things that, and, and that happens 100%, and I don't mean it to be, you know, critical, and it's okay, but that happens 100% because I'm Shawn Michaels. You know what I mean? No, no, I, and I mean, that, and I mean that in the bad sense. I, I get that kind of criticism, you know, again, because I get, you know, I'll, I'm, I'm going to get some of that, like, oh, you know, no, he was really angry that, look, there's nothing I can, nothing I can do about that. You know, part, that's part of having to, you know, having the past that I have, you know, you have to deal with stuff like that. I can think of a lot worse things to do. You know what I mean? If that's all I have to deal with is, you know, having to explain like, no, honestly, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to bury the guy, you know, ult, you know, really, really badly. I was actually, and I no, well, the thing is, I will say, I was trying to make the stuff that I didn't think was looking very good, try to look good. And so clearly I went overboard tried to do that what you know what I mean but it's just when you see it done to somebody else it doesn't look very good so you feel like I need to make it bigger and clearly I didn't do a good job with that but I uh, I didn't I honestly I mean I've never gone out there uh like I said except the one time the one time I was told to have something bad happen in a match it happened but I was told to do that. I've never once gone out there and tried to, you know, stink the, the, the joint out. You know what I mean? I've, I've, I'm known for a lot of stuff, but trying to stink the joint out is not one. <laughs>